Transcription is the process by which a sequence of DNA in a cell is copied into newly synthesized RNA molecules using the DNA as a template. Transcription occurs in the nucleus of eukaryotic cells, and most genes require activation in order to be transcribed. This activation is achieved by general transcription factors, which are proteins that will associate with the promoter of a specific gene. This process also requires an RNA polymerase, which cannot bind the DNA on its own, and will therefore associate with these transcription factors to gain access to the DNA. In the case of protein coding genes, considered class II genes, RNA polymerase II associates with class II general transcription factors to create the transcription pre-initiation complex. RNA polymerase II, abbreviated RNAP2, is composed of 12 subunits. The overall structure of RNAP2 is crab claw shaped, and the central cleft is lined with basic amino acids that interact with DNA. Formation of the pre-initiation complex begins when TF2D and TF2A form the DA complex on the promoter. TF2D consists of a TATA box binding protein, TBP, and an 8 to 14 TBP associated factors, or TAFs. As can be gathered from the name, TBP binds the gene promoter at the TATA box, forcing the DNA to bend at the minor groove. The TAFs will interact with other promoter elements as well as gene-specific transcription factors. TF2A binds to TBP and stabilizes the binding between TF2D and the promoter. The next step is TF2B binds to form the DAB complex. TF2B stabilizes the binding between TBP and the TATA box and will interact with transcription activators that bind proximal or distal promoter elements. TF2B is also thought to orient the pre-initiation complex on the promoter, marking the direction of future transcription and the position of the transcription initiation site, plus one, through bridging between TBP and RNAP2. TF2F associates with RNAP2 and recruits it to the promoter, forming the DAB pole F complex. Similarly to the sigma factor in E. coli, TF2F reduces nonspecific interactions between RNAP2 and DNA, making it more targeted to the promoter. TF2E and TF2H are then co-recruited to form the DAB pole FEH complex. TF2E works with TF2H to melt DNA and form the transcriptional bubble at the promoter. TF2H consists of 10 total subunits. The seven subunit core possesses helicase and ATPase activities involved in double-stranded DNA melting to form the transcriptional bubble. The remaining three subunits make up a cyclin-activating kinase subcomplex involved in reversible phosphorylation of the C-terminal domain of RNAP2, which is critical for promoter clearance. Once this complex is formed, the mediator complex binds unphosphorylated RNAP2 and regulates the assembly of the pre-initiation complex through its conformational state. This complex is made up of many subunits and is very large, meaning it can transduce regulatory information from proximal or distal long-range elements through protein-protein interactions with transcription factors that are bound to those elements. After the mediator associates with the pre-initiation complex, TF2H phosphorylates the C-terminal domain of RNAP2, causing a conformational change in the mediator, and transcription begins. RNAP2 clears the promoter together with TF2F, which plays a role in reducing pausing and protecting against TF2S cleavage during transcription. TF2B also dissociates. A scaffold complex made up of TF2E, TF2A, TF2D, TF2H, and the mediator remains on the promoter to help reinitiate subsequent rounds of transcription.